Hi, I got an airplane seating chart here and I'm going to show you how to make a drop down list referencing data on another sheet. So as you can see, I've got uh, the seating chart here and I have the different classes, first class, business class and economy class. On my second sheet here, I have my data and I'm going to be referencing both. So. So here I am, I'm going to be taking these sections here where it says code one, two, three, business class code one, two, three, economy class one, two, three, and I'm going to tell Excel to look at that and create a drop down list for these sections here. Of course, they're going to match up. So let's go back over to my data sheet on sheet two, and I'm going to highlight the numbers that I want in the drop, in the drop down list. So I'm highlighting one, two, three in my first class section. And then I'm going to go up here to formulas. And as you can see in the middle there, there is define name. And that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be defining the name. We're going to give it a name. So Excel knows where to look. I'm going to call it FC for first class. And now I'm going to do the same thing for business class. But obviously it's not going to be FC. It's going to be BC. I know it's not very creative, but it's simple. It's easy to remember. Too many C's there. And just click OK. And then I'm going to do it one more time, obviously, for the economy class. And right there. And I click OK. See? And as you can see there, it says Sheet 2, and it tells me the cells that I'm referencing, and that's good. It's always good to check. Uh, so I'm going to come back here to my airplane seating chart and I'm going to highlight the cells I want to have the drop down menu. I'm going to click data validation and now if you want to you can put an input message in here like we've done before. I'm not going to do it right now. I'm just going to worry about the menu. So I'm going to go back to settings, click list like we've done before and now for the source instead of highlighting the one, two, three. I'm going to put an equal sign and I'm going to put the name so FC for first class and as you can see it's done it. And then I'm going to do it. I'm going to repeat this, you know, for each section. Obviously, and, you know, your time is important. I'm not going to sit here and do this for every section and have you guys sit there and watch me do it. It's kind of boring. Yeah. So I just want to show it to you for the different sections here. So see, a drop down list. And I put equal BC. And then I do the same thing for the economy class here. List, and I put equal EC. The equal sign, of course, as, I, as you saw earlier, is very, very important. Without it, it doesn't work. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know.